Boom, what is up? Jason J. Boom Legard here, and I just want to get down in the nitty-gritty, crank out this video to share something very important with all of you, going old web webcam style here on my trusty MacBook, because I wanted, uh, well, actually, to be honest, I don't, there was parts of me that didn't want to share this video with all of you, but it's necessary, because I really, really hope that you soak in the lesson from uh, some uh, some gut wrenching times that I just experienced, so time to to warrior up here, and warrior is going to be a theme on this particular video. But as some of you who are watching this video, you may have already had the chance to hear my interview on Entrepreneur on Fire with John Lee Dumas. It's one of the top podcasts out on iTunes, etc. Uh, if you have not had a chance, it is episode number one 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 over there on uh, Entrepreneur on Fire, and download that, listen to my interview. I, I brought everything I could to that interview that uh, just within my myself, just being raw, had, providing infotainment, going deep, I mean, everything I could. And also, there's two free gifts that I offer over there, two videos, and one in particular, the first video you receive is called Inspire the Fire, and that's what I want to reference here, because when you watch that video, I'm... To say that I'm fired up is an understatement. Uh, I am lit up like I haven't been, to be honest, in probably four to six months. And that's what I want to speak to on this video because I don't want you to watch that video, Inspire the Fire. Be motivated, have it move your heart, your mind, your spirit, and just be like, bah! like bring it on, baby. Like, thank you. I want that for you, but I don't want you to look at that and not also understand the other side of that coin. And sometimes what's necessary in order to get it all back so that you can inspire the fire. So anyways, these past four to six months, it's been a lot about the grind. I'm sure many of you can relate. Grinding it out day by day. Struggles, frustrations, getting pissed off, getting a win, then all of a sudden you get a setback. Go, go, go. It's all about the work. You're like, as Gary Vee likes to say, you're working your face off. You're hustling. And the thing that I didn't catch until about a week ago, as I was out on a walk listening to some podcasts from a particular gentleman, who I'm going to reference here in a minute, because he's the second part of the story, is, uh, and he was, uh, this was after I had actually shot that video, Inspire the Fire. And as I was walking along, I realized over these last four to six months, uh, it just it hadn't been the same. I'd, I'd lost something had been lost within me and I didn't really didn't really hit home until this past week and I was actually wearing this particular ball cap yes I do also wear ball caps my wounded warrior project baseball cap and I want to preface before I make this next point in regards to, to feeling like a wounded warrior what I experienced in no way, shape, or form in a thousand bajillion years can compare to what these men and women have suffered who have come home as, as wounded warriors from serving in combat. I didn't lose a limb. I, I'm not suffering from PTSD. Okay, so let's make that clear. I have the utmost respect for every one of our veterans and, of course, especially those who have they were sacrificed even more than the norm, you could say. So support the Wounded Warrior Project, you know, that, without a doubt. But I'm wearing that baseball cap, and, and having that hat on my head, that's when the point struck home is these past few months, I've been stumbling or I've been walking the, around as a wounded warrior. Because somewhere along the way, I got gut shot. It wasn't a big wound, but it was enough for me to bleed out slowly, agonizingly, day by day by day. Just one little drop, one little drop, one little drop. The dream bled out a little bit more. Faith bled out a little bit more. And I'm walking along that, I was walking along the canal over here by Qantas Park in Tempe. And, uh, I realized I'm like that's <clears throat> that's that's why that's how I lost it and didn't recognize that I lost it because the wound 
it was there, but it was a slow, slow bleed to where I didn't, I didn't even notice it for four to six months. And so I'm, I'm, I'm realizing this and I'm like, well, th this has to stop. I got, you know, what do we do? Do we, do we patch it up? We just patch it up and stumble on and just hope that it doesn't, you know, you know, b you know, rip back open that I don't re, you know, re injure it. And all of a sudden I got another small bleed that I'm not aware of, you know, do I just patch it up? And, and this is where the second part of this video I want to touch on the second influence is I got exposed to the trainings and podcasts, uh, all kinds of different content from a gentleman by the name of Garrett J. White of Wake Up Warrior. And I was listening to one of his podcasts, actually one of his Sunday sermons, while I had this realization of feeling like a wounded warrior that had bled out for months and didn't and didn't know it. And I was listening, I, I can't remember, the. I think he was speaking on fear, and I realized that if I was going to move forward, like I moved forward and stepped back into personal power to create that video, Inspire the Fire, that patching up this wound would not cut it. Patching it up is not going to cut, it's not going to cut it. It's not going to make the grade here. And in that moment, I actually became moved to tears, got very emotional, because I realized over the past few days, and I had already been doing this, and it, but then it just it really came into focus. And I realized what I've been doing the last few days and what I continued and needed to do is not to put a Band-Aid on the wound. But I was going to have to just literally rip. I had to rip myself wide open. If I was going to get at the truth to my core, to, you know, to truly heal and get it all back, all the energy, inspiration, the fire, the passion, the intensity, commitment, all of it. Because I wanted it all back. I'd had a taste of it again when I made that video, Inspire the Fire. I re all of a sudden, I remembered, this is what it is. I was going to have to rip myself wide open and run the risk of bleeding out faster than before. <clears throat> and that's what I did. That's why it, it actually brought me to tears because I realized I'd been asleep. I realized I had literally bled out. And so I just said, look, if we're going to go forward, we got to rip this wound wide open to expose everything. We got to expose it all. That's how, I'm, that's how we're going to get at the truth. That's how we face down the darkness and we shine some light in there and we heal that shit. That's how we heal that shit. We got to rip it open. You can't be like, oh, let me put this little Band-Aid on. Well, guess what? Something else is going to happen tomorrow and the Band-Aid is going to fall off. You're going to start bleeding out slow again and it's going to be six more months before you realize you're half dead. And your dream, it's behind you. The vision you had for your life, the contributions you want to make, the success you're working for, bled out, done. So I had to face that. I had to realize, let's, let's rip it open, dude. Let's rip it wide open. Let's be a warrior about this. Let's rip it open. We look at it, whatever we got to deal with, fears, self-doubt, our own inner bullshit, Maybe we've got to carve out the lies, not only that we've been telling ourselves, but we've got to carve out the lies of the people in our lives that don't believe. Take a scalpel to that and just cut it, cut it open and cut it out like a cancer, because that's what that is. Whether it's the lies you tell yourself, or it's the lies that are coming from people that don't believe what you believe, cut it out. Rip, just rip it open, cut, cut it out. And that's what I did that day, had a major breakthrough. It's what I am going to continue to do because that is the only way I can continue to tap into my personal power to make videos like Inspire the Fire, how I'm going to take stages in front of thousands of people, how I'm going to create more trainings and coach people and have their breakthroughs. It's the 
I, I have to do that. And, and a credit to Garrett J. White and his his vision, his message. I have no, I don't even remember how I got exposed to the guy. I think I saw an ad on Facebook, and I was surprised I even resonated with his message. And then I started. It just it kept coming coming at me, and I dove in, and that was part of my ripping myself open is listening to his podcast, listening to his trainings. And I woke, I woke, I woke back up. I woke up. And it's, it's blown my mind. It's just like, where the hell was I at? Where the hell was I at this whole time? Taking a nap? Yeah, pretty much. But I'm awake now. And it is absolutely, it is so Beautiful. It is just it is blowing my mind. <laughs> Tapped back in. So I wanted to share this other side of the coin. I didn't just go cruise out to the desert and crank out that video like it was nothing. There was there was work to be done beforehand and, and there's work to be done after. It doesn't stop. So my question to you is, have you been stumbling around like a wounded warrior when it comes to your vision, to your dreams, to your goals? I hope this story gives you clarity. I hope this inspires you to understand that I, I was right there literally days ago. And it's not like you completely conquer it, I don't believe, ever. Every day you're going you're gonna to have to be a warrior. You're going to have to fight. You're going to have to fight. You have to get after it. But I encourage you, that's that's why I make videos like this. It's why I, I do coaching. It's why I want I you know it's why I want to continue to speak from stages and, and at masterminds. So let this soak in and, and realize if you're a wounded warrior and you're you are you are bleeding out, don't just patch it up. Have the courage. I I can be here for you. I can help you with the courage just by if you watch videos like this or you watch Inspire the Fire. Have the courage to rip it open because then, then then you get at it. Then then we can heal. Then we can heal. And as I always like to say, gratitude is the attitude that gives our dreams altitude. I am so unbelievably grateful that I had to rip myself open. It's allowed me to get to here. And I hope you have... A similar journey to be able to show the gratitude for when it gets tough and you wake up the warrior within you and you move forward but that this is Jason J. Boom Ligard if you enjoyed this message and have had not a chance to watch that video inspire the fire you can go get it for free along with another presentation of mine I just head on over to entrepreneur on fire on iTunes episode number one 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 Check it out, download it, listen. You can get the link over on the show notes and you can get access to those free gifts. If you enjoyed this type of message and you are, you're feeling it, you're feeling this kind of training when it comes to your mindset and how to shift it, I would highly encourage, head on over to our podcast. Myself, my business partner, Eddie Aguilar, we have a podcast. It's called the Mindset Mountain Podcast. You can check it out on iTunes and Stitcher. Uh, subscribe today. You know, Check it out. Look forward to helping you, uh, helping you conquer that mindset mountain. And one, one thing we always like to say, and I believe it's true every single time I say it, and it's true for you right now, when you make the decision to have the courage, face your darkness, rip it open if you need to, and then at the end of it, realize it is your time to climb. Boom! We'll see you on the next video.